Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 31st of August where I choose one of our many signals from our stock scanner membership area and set it up on a chart using our Elliott Wave indicator suite. Uh, as usual on a Friday, I'm looking for a longer term swing off a weekly time frame. So in our members area, our members would just click on the long fifth wave trades and click on the image to download today's spreadsheet. Today's spreadsheet looks something like this. So on the weekly time frame, we've got these potential long trades setting up for a fifth wave move uh, on an Elliott Wave sequence, which is the highest probability move in a trend. So let's have a look at just one of these, INTC on the weekly. So I'm using the Elliott Wave indicator suite from wave5trade.com for the NinjaTrader NT8 platform. It's also available for multicharts, TradeStation and Think or Swim. So first of all, where do we isolate this wave count? We are interested in the trend. We're not interested in any sideways action. This is the weekly time frame, remember, for INTC. So for this really long period uh, in 2017, we were range bound and then we started to move out and we were in a trend and we've pulled back against that trend now so isolating at these lows at the end of this range bound period is the sensible place and then our Elliott Wave indicator suite automatically labels the Elliott Wave sequence so let's zoom in there and have a look at this So first of all, let's just go through the three main filters we use for our stop scanner membership. The first is that we've had a pullback against the main trend, a wave four, and that's found support in one of our automated probability zones. In this case, it's found support in the amber zone. So that gives us an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here around about $61, something like that. The next is the performance of the wave four. So that on the oscillator, which is the upper sub chart, uh, pulls back between 90 and 140%. As you can see, it has done that right now. And then secondly, we have our false breakout stochastic, where it's pulled back in the oversold zone. We're looking for a cross there. And to go back to this main bullish trend, see these yellow dots here? These are our false breakouts, which denotes a really strong bullish trend here. Also, what I've done um, as well on this chart, just to show you, we also look at previous support resistance zones and just drawn that in there just to show you where this wave for has found really good support of previous resistance. This is a big price here for INTC to push through on the weekly and it did do it. So now we're looking for that same zone, that same price zone to hold as support. So this is a weekly chart. We did find a wave for low uh, the week uh, last week. And this week is coming to an end and we've got a higher high, higher low. Despite a lot of volatility in the markets, this is grinding its way up. We've got to go for a sensible entry here. This is a longer term swing and could be on for anything from four to six months, really. Uh, if it's quick, it could be three months. But what we're looking for is a sensible entry. We need to be outside of our 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average as part of our indicator suite here on the chart. So for next week's bar position, we need to be above there. We also need to be above the whole $52 mark. So the entry is just above the $52 mark at 52.04. This makes sure that we are well on our way and moved away from this wave for profit taking pullback over the last 10 or so weeks. Uh, and then we're going to go long around about $62 at the top end of the target zone. The stop loss for this is just under $46, $45.95, something like that, below the wave for low. It's found a reasonably good support there. Early days yet, though, we need, it's probably going to be a two or three weeks before we trigger on this, unless we have a really big week. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, really, really simple setup from our stock scanner membership using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, really simple to set up, stop loss just below the wave for sensible entry, uh, still gives us a great risk reward into our automated target zone there on INTC on the weekly. So have a great trading day, a great long weekend, and the videos will resume again on Tuesday after Labor Day.